Hi guys, thanks for watching another video about the Firestorm firing system. This one's just going to be short and we're going to show you how to bond the Firestorm audio player to the Firestorm TX2 scripted control desk. The audio player is one of our most recent products for the Firestorm system and it allows you to play um, audio tracks in perfect synchronization with your scripted fireworks show. So in this way um, it makes it quite easy to expand your system and start firing power musical fireworks shows. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn both the units on. You'll see they're both going to run through their boot up. You'll see the battery voltage to make sure everything's okay. And it'll just go to their home screen. So the first thing I'm going to do just to get these two units into a sort of basic known state is I'm going to clear them both down because these have previously been bonded. So to clear them down and break the bonding information and reset them on the TX2, press and hold the OK button you'll see the screen will say clearing and the bar graph will advance and then it will say cleared and you let it go so all bonded firing modules and audio players uh, have now been cleared from the TX2 and on the T I'm sorry on the audio player we'll do something similar we're just going to press and hold the bond button you'll see after a few seconds the bond light comes on and if we continue to hold the bond button the bond light will go off and the channel that it was bonded to will clear and you'll just see channel XX. So these two units are now not communicating and they're ready to be bonded. So the first thing we do is select which channel we want to bond the audio player to. The audio player behaves very much the same way as a firing module. Um, so you can simply bond it to a channel and then you can check the radio communication and the continuity um, of the actual audio player. The continuity in this case wouldn't be a firework queue, it would be whether an audio track is actually loaded into the unit. So in this example, let's go ahead and bond it to channel 200. So you select channel 200 on the TX2, and then you simply hold the bond button on the audio player. The bond light will come on, you release the bond button, and then just like any other firing module in the system, you press and release the fire button, and you see that suddenly we have uh, a signal light, which is green, and we have a continuity light, which is red in this case, because we don't have an audio track loaded onto the unit. If we did have an audio track loaded in there via the USB stick, this light would also be green. Notice also that the screen now shows you the channel that the audio player has bonded to, in this case, channel 200. So once again, I'm just gonna clear these both, and we're gonna rebond it so you know exactly what to do. Press and hold the bond button on the audio player. The bond light's going to come on. Keep holding the button. And after a few seconds, the light will go out. The channel will be cleared. You've now cleared all bonding information from the audio player. Much the same on the TX2. We'll press and hold the OK button. The display will show clearing. And then the unit has now been cleared. Notice that the signal light um, and the continuity light have gone out because the link has been broken. In this example, we'll go back to channel 1 and we'll just rebond these again. So, once again, we're going to press and hold the bond button. The bond light will come on. We can now release the bond button. Make sure your correct channel is selected. Press and release the fire button. Signal and continuity lights light up for that channel. And you'll see that we're now bonded to channel 1 on the audio player screen. So, that's it, guys. It's very simple to use. We'll have more videos uh, following in the future showing you how to use the Firestorm system along with the audio player. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe. Please click like. Um, thanks very much for your support.